Welcome back. We're now going to see how links and networks, which are used to map links between different technical objects, are configured. A good example of a link is between production plant and supply systems. We start by defining the object types for object links. The customizing path is SPRO, then to plant maintenance and customer service. Master data in plant maintenance and customer service, technical objects, and then to object links. Here we can define object types. We can define media for object links. We can define number ridges for object links. And we can also set list editing for object links from equipment or from functional locations. So let us go ahead and define object types. Here we have the category, we have the description, then we enter the status profile, and here we can allow alpha numeric characters if we have this one checked, and this one determines whether change documents will be generated. So if we go ahead and have it checked, then change documents will be generated. So the next thing that we're going to do is to define media object links. So we here we have the medium. In this case, it's water. We have 1001 as compressed air. Then we have the material. This is the material number which should be have been defined beforehand. The next thing is that we want to check whether the medium is relevant to production. We then select the color. And then if it's relevant to scale methods, we want to have that checked. And if it's relevant, the medium is relevant to reclassification, then we also want to have that box checked. So that is how we define or we customize links and networks. In the next video, we are going to look at linear asset management. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.